Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 1. Take heed that you do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka, Kodash. Forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. This lesson is going into there is a secrecy in this truth that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai loves you to have when you're dealing with them, man. Okay, when you're dealing with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, doing his will. All right. And Matthew chapter 6 goes into that, man. Okay. And there's a reason for it. All right. Because when you're giving charity, you're giving your alms, right? You're doing certain things. You're supposed to do it in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Okay? Because those guys and those people who do it to be seen of men in their spirit, they want praise of men. Okay? And that's the whole goal of even doing it in the first place. And you don't want that to be you. Okay? That's why in secrecy, you know it's between you and and Yahweh Bashem Shah because it's spiritual, man. It's a spiritual move, not a carnal move. So let's start back at Matthew chapter 6, verse 1 again. Take heed that you do not your alms before men. Right, things you give, your sacrifices, okay, your charity, to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou does thy alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee. Right, man. Letting everybody know what you're about to do. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm going to do that, brother. I'm going to do that. You know, you want everybody to know. You're not supposed to do that. Okay. You're supposed to be in secret. Okay. It's supposed to be secretive. All right. So do not sound a trumpet, man. So if you're going to give a nice amount of charity or whatever, man, just do it between you. Okay. And that person. All right. And don't sound a trumpet and make sure everybody know that you did this. You know, see, people in the world, in the church, they do that shit, man. They do that shit. They do something. They want everybody to know, the whole church to know. Okay. Everybody to know that they did this or they're about to do this. Just do it in the spirit of your high body, your shy, and move forward and feel good that you do it. Simple as that. All right. So it says, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, right, where multiple people are at so that they can hear, okay, to receive praise from men, all right? That's what that's about. That they may have glory of men, you see? Verily I say unto you, they have the reward, right? Their reward is to have that glory of men, <laughs> okay? And they got it. Everybody look at them all good and clap, you know, oh, look what he did. That's the worldly gratification, all right? But we are looking for the spiritual, okay? Verse 3, but when thou does alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thy alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Right, man. So your goal has to be, okay, if you're in the right mind frame, okay, for example, say you're giving tithes, right? You don't have to purposely make everybody know that you gave this. You don't have to do that, man. Okay? Or say you're helping somebody. You don't have to announce it that you're helping somebody. Just go help that person. It's between you and that person, man. Okay? And how about you, shy? Okay? Period, man. So you're trying to set it up where it's as secretive as possible. Okay? At times, somebody's going to know that you did this thing. Okay? Outside of your how about you, shy. But... That's one thing, okay? That's going to happen. But this is talking about you just, your whole motive is for everybody to know, as many people to know, okay, because that makes you feel good. No, you should feel good for doing it in the spirit of your how about you, period, man, okay? And that is where the reward is at, man, okay? That's where it's at. That's where your how about you, looks at when you're doing these different things, giving alms, charity, et cetera, et cetera. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, man, Okay? It's very, very important because your Habash Shah, like I said, pays attention to that. Okay, to see where your spirit is at. All right. So it says, verse 4, that the alms may be in secret, and thy father would see it in secret, he's going to see it, himself is going to reward thee openly. Right, he's going to reward thee openly, man. 
So don't do it openly because he's not going to reward you openly for it. Okay, your reward is that pat on the back you got from whoever. Okay, verse 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have the reward. So you see, even with praying, man. Okay, so it's the way you deal in this truth, man. Okay, it's a certain way you got to deal in this truth. You got to watch that demon. Okay, because this is a demon, man. All right, because it's a worldly move, man. It's worldly. It's not spiritual at all. So we got to make sure that we got that out of us and we grow out of that. Because when you're in the world, before you get in this truth, you have that in you. Okay, we all have. But when you come in this truth, man, you put on that new man. And that new man learns how to deal with your how about you, shy in secrecy when it comes to these details and this walk in this truth. Okay. Verse 6, but thou, when I press, enter into thy closet, right, secrecy. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Right, man. Now, that don't mean that every time you're going to pray in your closet, you know, don't get simple. That's talking about secrecy, man, meaning you're not trying to pray in front of everybody so everybody can see you trying to make it secret, man. You could be in the woods somewhere, Okay. That represents a closet because nobody's around, you see? Because a closet typically is a closet. Nobody's there. Okay, you can close it and be by yourself. Okay, but that can be in general wherever you're at, just as long as you're doing it, you know, in secrecy, man. Between you and your Habashimah Shai, okay? It's your relationship that you have with the Father and with the Son. Your relationship. Okay? Point blank period, man. Another example is that when you're intimate, man, you ain't intimate with everybody. Everybody don't see you be intimate. It's between you and your woman. Okay, y'all relationship. Okay, so being spiritually intimate with your Habash and Shai, man, your spiritual sacrifices, it's the same thing. So that's a good way to put it. Uh, verse 7. But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not you therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask. So I'm going to stop there. Okay. Uh, you get the point. I really want to come with this quick lesson. I was meditating about it, and it's very, very important to understand the secrecy that you have to have, man, that integrity that you have to have, man, understand that Yahweh Shai looks at that, man. Okay. Each individual. That say that believe on them. You believe in your Habba Shema Shah? Okay. Well, know that they're paying attention to that, man. All right. So I hope you're edifying in the spirit. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Wadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the Elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your Akramat that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.